Do you want to know why the King Curve Complete Bike is a perfect bike to start off riding BMX? Today we're going to do and explain and review on the 2019 Kink Curve Complete Bike. As always, I want you to hang tight uh, because we're going to tell you how to win a bunch of free stuff from our shop, including a parts package and a free bicycle. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit more details later on in this video. We're also going to tell you all the specs about this bike, uh, what comes on this bike, uh, what colors are available, and then uh, also where you can buy this bike from. So let's get to it. So definitely the 2018 Kink uh, Complete Bike was, or Kink Curb Complete Bike, was one of our best selling bikes last year. And I think they absolutely killed it again this year. And I you know, we foresee this being our next best selling bicycle, uh, you know, I mean this year for 2019. So uh, this bike has a bunch of cool features on it. And uh, there's a lot of things that I noticed off the bat and it just makes this bike look really, really cool. I think you guys can see it from the seat that you're watching this video from. But first thing that I noticed is that it's got some really large, uh, I would say uh, old English style uh, stickers on the top two and on the head two um, and then a couple other places. But those are the main ones that I see. And uh, they really, really stand out because they're a little bit different uh, sticker than, than most of the stickers that we've seen on the complete bikes. A lot of them we've seen them clear coated over or we've seen like a plastic residue around it. Uh, kind of a screen printed sticker. This one seems, um, yeah, it definitely looks more of a, like a vinyl uh, cut sticker. So there's no transparency that's behind it or anything like that. So the sticker really stands out. It looks really good. Uh, another thing that I noticed on this frame is that it has a pretty cool sparkle in here. So a lot of customers that, that look on the photo on the website, it doesn't really do it justice or anything like that. But when you look at it in person, just like every single complete bike, is that it looks way better in actual person. I understand you want to go to a bike shop and think that there's I mean, this, this magical bike shop that has every single model that you could ever think about and that, you know, I mean, those three little choices that you pick. But in raw reality, there's not going to be any place that like that that's like that or even have those bicycles on the floor that you could see that and uh, to have all of those bicycles in stock aisle one time is going to be very difficult so uh, you know I mean definitely take our word for it uh, take the you know I mean manufacturer's word for it that this this bicycle looks really really clean I'm going to try to show it to you um, in video but doing video for 15 20 years I know it's never going to do it justice but uh, just take our word for it. It looks really, really good in person. If you're looking to buy a bike, definitely uh, buy something like this. This this paint job looks really, really sick. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to let you, you know, I mean, see those little sparkles in there. Hopefully, you can see it. But uh, yeah. So like I said, you probably probably won't do it justice. Uh, you probably you know, still want to go to a bike shop and find out. But if I was you, I would just. Uh, Order from our website and uh, pick up uh, pick one of these bikes up if you just like the color. Uh, I think the the number one thing in buying a bike is uh, when you're starting to I don't know how you say when you start out riding BMX. Uh, first thing is going to be the the actual look. So if I was you and I see a bike that really looks good, I would say definitely try to buy that bike. Uh, even if you have to save up a little bit more, try to buy that bike. If you're on a budget and you just can't afford that, you know, I mean, copper plated bike that you've seen or anything like that, then I would say go with your second best bet, uh, or you know, I mean, your your second uh, choice or third choice, whatever, whatever is actually in your budget. The whole goal is to actually get onto a BMX bicycle because once you start there, then you're gonna kind of ride, you're gonna see what you really like about it. And to be honest with you, eventually you're gonna want a full on build or a complete bike and you're gonna build it to the spec you want. But as far as starting off BMXing, you want just a bicycle and you wanna get close to the features that you're, you're looking for. So that's why this bike comes in uh, really cool. It's got a bunch of cool features that a lot of the high end aftermarket bikes are. And the aftermarket bikes aren't even really aftermarket bikes. Bikes, they're more of aftermarket parts all put onto a bicycle. So um, what this kind of has, it has uh, large bars. Uh, it has fat tires. It's got the small uh, drive on it, which has a 25 tooth sprocket in the front and a nine tooth in the rear. And then um, it's got three piece cranks. 
and it's got brakes to stop it and it's got a cassette rear wheel. So all those features are pretty much what the, the pros ride besides the brakes. Uh, a lot of the pros take them off, but starting off BMXing, you definitely want to start with the brakes. Um, as you progress and you get a little bit better, you know I mean, um, we don't advise you to take it off, take them off, but you know I mean, it is your bike, so go ahead and do what you want. But uh, based on looks and colors, this bike hits it right on the head. Uh, it comes in a bunch of cool colors. It comes in this black right here with uh, that's called Goldschlager. Um, it has a little black sparkles in it. Looks really, really nice with the gum tires and the gold stickers on here. So if you like black, I would say definitely pick this up. If you don't like the tires or anything like that, one is, you know what I mean, hey, can you switch them out when you buy it? No, bottom line is that it's a custom bicycle, so if you want different tires, just like your car, you're gonna have to buy them aftermarket. So check out our website, you can buy some of those tires if you just don't like the gum wall. But overall, this bike just looks phenomenal right off the you know, showroom floor. So this one here, there's a, a teal looking color, uh, and that one looks pretty cool. And then also they have a, a Mustang uh, color, which is blue, but it has a, a black swipes on it um, over the blue. And then uh, there's also a nickel. Nickel is more of like a goldish bronze looking color. And that one's more of a gloss color. And that one looks really, really dope. But um, out of all those four bikes, we think this one looks the best. Um, but if you want to check out some of the other colors, check it out on our website. Uh, we have the other photos of that one on there as well. Um, you know, we don't, um, if, um, you know what I mean, how do you say it? Uh, so, I don't know, let's just, let's just start going from the, the front of the back, bike to the back of it. So first off on this bicycle, it's got a little bit bigger bar than normal. It doesn't go super crazy like a nine, nine inch bar or nine and a half or anything like that. Uh, because this is an introductory bike, it's designed for a young adult to um, maybe a, a little bit older adult that's just trying to ride, out, ride bicycles. So this one comes with an 8.75 inch handlebar. Uh, the most common size handlebars that pros and avid riders ride are nine to nine two five. Uh, th that's generally what we've seen a lot of the avid riders ride. So this is just slightly smaller, but it leaves room for you to upgrade to a little bit bigger handlebar. Uh, another cool thing is that uh, it comes with uh, these these king grips. Uh, I believe they are the deltas. I believe they're the delta grips. Um, um, then it comes with. Uh, with the mission top load stem, uh, a lot of the the pros and the avid BMXers they're they're riding uh, a top load stem, and that's to bring the bars up a lot more and to give you a little bit more room in the cockpit. Uh, when you're riding your bike and you're trying to do like uh, tricks like 360s and 180s and like uh, tuck no handers and stuff like that, I've noticed that having your bars a little bit taller pulls this whole band up a lot more and allows you to have a little bit more knee room. Um, a lot of times, uh, actually the old school bikes that we used to have, they used to have a front load stem, so this bar right here would actually drop a lot lower. So your knees tend to hit that a little bit more. Having the bars up high kind of brings it up and allows you to, um, you know what I mean, uh, get in the cockpit. So that's very, very cool um, on that part. And then if you go down to the forks, the forks are a 100% high tensile steel uh, fork, which um, is gonna hold up for your bicycle. If you're jumping and stuff like that, and you're super, super rough, maybe in the future you can upgrade to a new set of forks. But theoretically, these ones are very, very strong for a beginner uh, cyclist, and the dropouts are, are nicely weld, and there's room for your uh, peg. So we notice a lot of kids that are starting off riding bikes, they're gonna want to pe put pegs on it, and kink came through with uh, this little tapered fork cap right here to allow the peg. So very, very cool on that part. Um, I believe the rake on these are 32 millimeters, so that's pretty much what everybody's riding. Everybody runs about a 32 to 33 millimeter offset fork. Um, another thing it comes with is that these big 2.4 tires. Uh, a lot of the companies have been making their aftermarket tires 2.4 uh, for, for a lot of reasons. Uh, the first reason is that it's just gonna be a lot larger and fill your fork up and your frame up more. Um, also, it looks pretty cool. So having the fat tires look really cool. Uh, another thing that I've noticed about these bigger tires is that it makes it a lot harder to pinch flat. 
So if you're casing the jumps or anything like that, it has to, has to actually squish down a lot more and to actually pinch the tube right here when you case. So when it cases it, it pinches it right here and then gives it two little snake bites. So the 2.4 helps that out. As well with, with the 2.4s, it's a lot uh, more air volume. So that means you can run a lot less air in your tire and the tire is still gonna feel, feel hard. So that's another cool feature. Another cool feature is that just having the bigger tires, it makes the bike way more stable. You got to think about it as, you know, I mean, um, one of my friends said like a pizza cutter tire, if you're riding a pizza cutter tire, it's going to, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, switch back and forth. It'll, it'll ride faster, but you know, I mean, the stability is not going to be very good on that. So, um, that if you're a beginner and stuff like that, having a, a really, um, touchy twitchy bike uh, just definitely makes it really really hard to ride so having the bigger tires makes it a lot more stable it allows the tire to grip a lot more surface area on the ground and then allows you to do a lot more um, variable things as far as like doing bump jumps wall rides uh, carving the skate park it just makes it a lot grippier and just handles a lot better than the skinnier tires notice that you don't see little race tires um, on freestyle bikes uh, it's just too small of a tube and the tire contact to the ground is is what you need and those tires just don't provide that so having the 2.4 tires really really help that out um, another thing about the, the this front uh, wheel is that um, not only does it have a 2.4 tire on it but it also got the alloy rim with the 3 8 hub on the front and this this hub actually has a really really long axle so you can you can put a bolt-on peg on it a lot of the bolt-on pegs nowadays have uh, aluminum inner core and then they have a plastic sleeve. That aluminum inner core is really, really thick on there. Let's say it's kind of like a washer. So imagine having a regular washer that's this thin um, that you slide on your, your wheel. This washer is actually, I mean, a lot bigger, about a quarter inch thick. So you're going to need a lot more axle to actually bolt it onto your, your wheel. So this, this axle has a lot of threads on it. So if you're looking to add pegs to it, that's not a problem. You can just bolt them right up. So very, very cool. Um, you kind of skipped the headset, but uh, this headset is an inch and eighth threadless headset. Uh, this is not an integrated headset, but uh, this is a great place to start. It cuts the cost down on this actual bicycle. If you're looking for something on the budget, then this, this is perfect. A lot of our customers are looking just to start off bicycles. They're not really looking to go full bore, but when you uh, buy an aftermarket frame or anything like that, in order to upgrade the headsets, not very much. You're looking about 25, 30 bucks to add another headset to your frame. And at a frame being 260 bucks to 350 bucks, uh, 25, 30 bucks is like a drop in the bucket. And if you don't want to be, you know, I mean, swapping out a headset or anything like that, um, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. You just got to do it. It's a good idea to switch out all the bearings when you're, you're swapping to a new frame. So it makes, makes a lot of sense uh, to start off with something like this because it is an introductory bike. They want you to start off on it. They want you to see if you like it and there's no need to get an integrated headset and to upgrade unless you're really, really rough on your bike or you've just already had a bike and you're just buying a secondary bike. So if you're, you're kind of one of those customers that, hey, I've had a low end bike, I'm trying to buy another bike because it's all beat up and upgrade, then I would definitely suggest upgrading to a higher end complete bike. So maybe something with the integrated head too. So if you're looking for one of those bikes, you're probably looking about 310 on up uh, for a bike with the integrated headset. Um, so uh, another thing I noticed is that it's got uh, a straight cable uh, brake and this has a linear cable if you're not too sure what the linear cable is is basically a derailleur cable uh, on a BMX brake and what it, that does is it allows you to spin the handlebars at least one time um, without you really feeling it on the brake lever with that that's, that's kind of cool because uh, back in the days a lot of the bicycles that came with the regular uh, still uh, still braided uh, cable and it actually had a regular brake cable on it and when you twin the, turn the bars it could either it usually tightened up your brakes so then your your wheel would skid so with kids doing uh 360 i mean doing tail whips and bar spins and stuff like that this definitely helps out with that um it, it helps you know just in general of you know i mean having a uh 
having a bike that can do a bar spin or do tail whips or something like that without having to keep uh, turning your bars backwards or whatever, or pre pre-winding it is what we call it, is where you spin the bars the opposite way so that you can throw the bars and then the, the cable will be regular. So just having that linear cable is real cool. Another thing is, is that it's got a welded on uh, brake stop right here. So this is what actually holds the cable and creates the brakes to stop. This, this uh, bike has the Mission uh, 990 brakes on it, which add a lot of stopping power there along uh, you know, I mean, brake pad on there. So it could definitely help you out with stopping if you're, you're trying to run brakes. So you could hit the trails, you could bomb the streets, you could jump a curb or anything like that. And um, you know, definitely be able to stop. Um, now let's go back to the crank. So another way they keep this, the cost down on these, um, this bicycle is that they come with a three-piece cranks, but this one has an American bottom bracket and it's unsealed. So uh, what it is is it has hollow three-piece cranks on it, and then they got the traditional uh, American size bottom bracket, so that you could you could run one-piece cranks on here if you would like. You could upgrade the bottom bracket to a sealed bottom bracket. Uh, you could throw on any uh, aftermarket sprocket on here. So this is pretty much compatible with all that and then any aftermarket pedal. So, you know, it gives you a good strong crank, crank arms and, uh, you know, I mean, easy to adapt and to upgrade and, and stuff like that. Uh, another thing is, is that it's got these aftermarket kink uh, pedals. These are a PC pedal and they're got, uh, let me see, they got 14 pins on each side and they're strategically placed out so that they give you a lot of, a lot of grip on there. So a lot of the, the aftermarket bikes or the pros bikes, they're running a plastic pedal. That's because they're a lot lighter than the other pedals and they're way cheap. So um, bringing the cost down on that is definitely a plus. Uh, it's what we ride anyways, a lot of the pros and a lot of the you know, I mean, avid BMXers ride plastic pedals anyway. So it just makes sense just to start off that way. So. Pretty cool on there. Um, the next thing is that it comes with a steel 25 tooth sprocket. So this is a small drive, uh, small sprocket, uh, small crank, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's a 25 tooth and a lot of people are wondering, hey, it looks a lot different. It's got the small gear on it. We're used to that big gear. Uh, the gear ratio, it actually makes it exactly the same as the big sprocket in the front. So they made this smaller and they made that uh, the rear smaller. The plus about this is that it lightens up the bike significantly. You gotta realize that if you have less teeth, you have less sprocket, you have less gear in the back, that there's gonna be less chain and a lot less weight. So just having this drive on there uh, creates the bike to be about, I would say about a half pound to a pound and a half lighter depending on what setup you go with and what, what style cranks and everything like that you go with. But um, as far as our wheel and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this, this adds to that, makes it really, really cool because it takes off a lot of weight and it drives exactly the same as the other one. So that's very, very cool. Um, this bike comes with a, a basic uh, mission chain. So this is an inch and a, uh, a half inch by inch and eighth uh, chain. And this is just your, your basic uh, chain, similar to like a KMC chain. Uh, it's just gonna hold up. Get you get you started and stuff like that. Um, the back wheel comes with the same 2.4 fat tire um, as the front, and then uh, it also comes with aluminum rim, uh, stainless steel spokes, and uh, aluminum uh, sealed rear hub. So this rear hub sealed. It has full sealed bearings in there, and then it has a nine tooth driver on there. So the the rear has nine nine teeth on there, so that it's compatible with the 25 teeth and it just makes the bike real smooth. Um, a couple little cool features about the frame is that on the end of the dropouts, they're all capped and welded, so there's no open holes or anything like that, and it just looks super clean. It looks like an aftermarket frame because the dropouts are really small, and it comes in a 14 millimeter um, sized axle slot so that you could run pegs on the back. Uh, I noticed the chainstay is up a little bit higher. Back in the day when we used to buy bikes and stuff like that, they didn't really know, and the chainstay was real low. And what would happen is when we grind, we'd hit the ledges and the rails, and this whole thing would get smashed up. So Kink did a good job and raised this up a lot so that the peg hangs down a little bit. So that makes it real nice if you're riding pegs 
Um, this rear wheel also has a 14 millimeter axle, so it's a lot larger. So if you're riding pegs and stuff like that and you're slamming on the ledges, this rear axle is not gonna bend. So very, very good plus. If you're riding pegs, we would definitely suggest running a 14 millimeter in the back. Everybody does it. So just having that straight off the bat is killer, killer for, for a beginner rider. But um, yeah, besides that, it's got a, you know, I mean, a cool bridge that's on the back of the, the frame. Uh, it's got a regular seat post. It also got a, a one piece uh, seat and seat post combo. And this is made by Mission. It's got a pretty cool logo on the, on the top. Um, let me see if I can show you right here. So, that's the Mission logo seat. Looks super, super cool. But overall, this bike's super, super clean. Um, looks really, really amazing. All the different colors, they have the same componentry. They just have different colored frames and maybe different uh, coatings on the actual forks or bars. Um, that would be like gloss black or flat black. Uh, those are kind of your two options you can see in the photos. Um, but um, yeah, overall, I think Kink killed it on these bikes. They keep continuing to kill it every single year. If you're looking into buying a complete bike this year, I definitely say cop one of these. Don't sleep on this bike right here. We got a lot of customers last year. They thought they were just gonna last forever. They don't. So if you want one of these bikes, make sure you go to our website, stackbmx.com. Buy one of these right now because these are flying out the door. They will not last. So hit, hit up our site, pick one of these up. Right now for a limited time, we're doing a free shipping on all our complete bikes. So you can pick up this bike, any other complete bikes, free shipped to your house. So take advantage of that. In store, you're gonna, you're gonna pay shipping and handling because we have to bring it to the shop. And then you also um, get a lifetime warranty on the frame forks, bars, and uh, actually uh, frame forks and bars against manufactured defects. Uh, so if anything happens to those, um, they'll, they'll cover it um, as far as, you know, we manufacture defects. We're not talking about, hey, I got mad at my mom and she didn't want to buy me a new bike, so I ghost rode it into a wall, anything like that. That's your own fault. Don't be doing that. Um, you're definitely going to get, you know, I mean, hit, hit good if you, you end up doing that because that is not a manufactured defect. That's, you know, I mean, something out. Manufactured defects usually where a weld didn't bond correctly or something like that. So um, yeah, come to our shop, we'll build it up for free. Um, we'll, we'll offer you that warranty or anything like that. And then we also offer a lifetime service adjustment. So if your chain comes loose, your brakes come adjusted and stuff like that, we, we keep that tight as long as you own that bicycle. So that's, there's a really big value in that. You can pay hundreds of dollars throughout the years of just getting your bike adjusted. We'll take care of that for you. So um, yeah, hit our website or hit our storefront to pick up one of these bikes. Um, also too, um, any, of the, any of these bikes, um, as far as these kinks, any of the parts that are on our website fit it, the handlebars, the grips, the brakes, forks, tires, uh, sprocket, cranks, uh, you know, I mean, everything, back wheels, all that stuff fits on this bicycle. So if you're trying to upgrade and make this thing yours and you want to buy some different colored parts, just shop on there. You can add them to your order and we can drop them in the box and then you can actually swap them all out and get this bicycle kitted to the way you want it to look. But uh, yeah, we also told you, and we're gonna tell you how you guys can enter a contest by simply liking this video, turning on your notification bells, and commenting below in our videos to win a free parts package and a free bicycle. So uh, at 2,500 subscribers, we're gonna give away another parts package with a pair of tires, a pair of grips, a pair of pedals, and a seat all you gotta do is comment below and comment on any of our videos that we've posted already um, and tell us what you liked about the video, what you don't like about the video, uh, what other products you wanna see uh, on here, what tech tips you wanna see on here, um, pretty much anything that's on your mind that you wanna see from Stack BMX and we will give that to you. So uh, yeah, that's how you enter the contest and then at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give a bike retailed at $300 Maybe even this one, um, but we'll, we're going to give that away at 5,000 subscribers. We're just shy of that, so uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can enter those contests. 
And like I said, make sure you comment all the other videos. Check out some of the other videos. If you want to know about certain things, we dabble and tell you a little bit about stuff in the other videos. Like let's say you want to know about how to put a chain on or something like that. Maybe check out our videos with chains and we tell you little tips and stuff like that how to put on a chain. So make sure you watch all those videos. Um, if you're trying to find some of our videos, you can always go to our website at stackbmx.com. Look at all the parts. We have little videos talking about the, each individual part on there. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for checking out the 2009 Kink Curve Complete Bike. And if you really like it, buy it from our website. Thanks for supporting us. We'll see you guys tomorrow.